Let's do my hair. Right, I'm here with um, Natalie McGarry. She's the MP, Scottish MP for uh, the SNP, Glasgow, Glasgow East. East. Just said to me she's got no electricity in her flat and uh, she couldn't contact me then because her data's run out on her mobile phone. Yep. That's a little bit different from, from the people that was at the banquet the other night. I got down here that it was, like I saw the menu and it was in French. I don't know if you've seen the menu from I the- have, yeah. from, And it was 1,400 pounds a bottle of wine. And this banquet was happening just as they as the um, the tax credit cut vote was going through. Absolutely. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting that you have uh, a situation where people are quaffing on a bottle of wine, which is more than the tax credit cut per average family, and yet the impact of that bottle of wine on that person's life compared to the cuts that will impact upon the poorest people. And don't forget, it's working poor that will be most affected by this. It's disgusting. And having been to China on numerous occasions, I can tell you the £1,450 is a lot more than you'd pay for the Great Wall of China wine, which uh, seems perfectly sufficient in China. And basically what is it's the British uh, state trying to live up to this idea that it's an empire. It's trying to compete with China and frankly it's got squashed. Do you, do you love the Queen? No. Well, do you know we'll what? come back to that. <laughs> well, we just finished on <laughs> Do You Love the Queen? No. <laughs> All yeah, right, well, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the Queen herself, right? She's a wee old woman. When she takes off her hat, she's about four foot ten. You know, she, she's worked hard all her life. She's been very well uh, recompensed. Do I think there should be a royal family? Absolutely not. Should they be draining money out of society? No. And an interruption there with an electricity um, uh, emergency from uh, Natalie's. She's got no, there's, there's, there's no fuse, there's nothing in her flat at all. I was doing something in the Lords the other day. A Calman who put together one of the devolution commissions uh, in, in Scotland looking at more power. Um, they were talking about having some kind of was it like a British charter or something like that of what it means to be British? I mean, this is a false construct in the first instance. It's never been required. Why now? And I think you're absolutely right. There is this determination to ring fence some idea of British identity that that, that, that is not lacking. You know, people feel how people feel. You can't ascribe sentiment to people. This is a multi... Uh, it's, it's been co-opted by the right-wing press, by the Sun, absolutely. by... by, by... And, and it, it, it's chasing after uh, the UKIP vote. Um, it, it's a reaction probably to Scottish independence referendum as well. It's also about the European Union. This is a very, very determined programme um, to try and control people because we've never had a need for it before. People have felt how they felt, they've acted uh, as they have. But this is very much to try and tie people into national I identity so that people behave in a certain manner. And I think if you look at it, it really started with the 2012 uh, Olympics. You know, this rebranding of, of Team Britain. Uh, which went beyond just the actual Olympic team, this idea that uh, all in it together, which isn't true, because if we're all in it together, the people at the top wouldn't be shafting the people at the bottom.